What are we getting? What are we getting? What are we getting? <laughs> Incendiator by Grill Mania. No, 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 no. The last thing I need is more things that can catch on fire. Are you serious? That's like a death sentence. Okay, yeah, I'm selling that. <laughs> no, thank you. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Nightmare Legacy Challenge. Before we start, I feel like I should warn you that it's storming a lot right now. You might look at this video and think that it's nighttime. It's not. It's like 8 a.m. It's just really dark outside because of the weather. So if you hear any loud thunder. Don't be alarmed. It, it's just Florida. You know, now that I think about it, the last time that we had some bad storms in this series, my sim got struck by lightning inside. So fingers crossed we don't have any issues like that today. So my goal for today's episode, I think number one, is to not get struck by lightning. But also it's Winterfest, so I'd like to actually try and celebrate the holiday. And it's Dory's birthday, so she's gonna become a child. This holiday thing I'm starting to feel a little bit guilty about because last episode I made my my sims all go to work in school despite it being Winterfest because I wanted to do an acting gig and now it's like 6 p.m. and I haven't celebrated the holiday at all. So we are gonna make the most out of these next couple hours and I am really gonna try and celebrate Christmas with my sims. Why do I feel like I have nowhere to put a tree? Okay, how about this? Let's put this in our inventory and then we can get a tree. Is there a pink swatch of this? Ooh, okay, not really. There's a rainbow swatch. That's kind of good vibes. Maybe I'll use that one and then we can get some presents present piles too. There, look, see? We're celebrating. Um, okay. How do I have this giant house and somehow like literally no space to put anything? Maybe I'll put these in my inventory too, because then I can put the present pile like right here. Does that come in pink? Ooh, okay, good. All right, I'm feeling a lot better already. <laughs> I feel like we're off to a good start right now. Um, oh no, you're not. Am I allowed to cheat needs? I feel like we don't really talk about this that much, but let's be honest with ourselves. For the sake of the let's play, I believe that Dory should be allowed a nap and dinner before we begin. You know what? If I had just done that without recording, you wouldn't know. So at least I'm being honest. Midlife crisis. Oh my God, I forgot about that part. Oh no. Okay, okay. <laughs> Baby has hit the breaking point in life. She feels like her life hasn't been very successful thus far, and she wishes to change that starting now. On the plus side, Baby will gain a career performance bonus during this period. Check the aspiration panel for Baby's midlife crisis desires and complete them to decrease the duration of the midlife crisis. Oh no. What do we got? Desire for success. Purchase three expensive paintings, win a competition or game, brag 15 times, and eat a gourmet meal. Okay, nothing but the best for Baby, and that includes the food she eats. Do you know what? You're so right though. You deserve the world. We don't have any gourmet meals. I did make this tofurkey. Would you like a grand meal instead? Perhaps? We can all eat it. Do you want to come downstairs? Everybody? Oh, she's contemplating life. Okay, I understand. It's going through a lot right now. I'll let her finish. Come on, everybody. Let's eat, please. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do- Oh, God. Oh, I'm gonna have to bathe you now. Stinky dog. That's fine. Oh, good. Well, we learned not to play in puddles, <laughs> so that'll hopefully help us. Oh, you know what else? I can get rid of this toddler potty because we're gonna age up. Ooh, how are we doing on skills? Do you know what? I thought I was gonna be doing better, but that's okay. You can't have it all. <laughs> we can't win everything, so it's fine. Do you guys wanna open presents together before Santa gets here? That would be great, thank you. Look how many we have. See, this is nice. I like this little family night. I feel like we need to make more- Oh, I still have a bassinet. I was gonna say, I feel like we need to make more of an effort with stuff like this. Um, clearly, I don't know what's going on half the time in this family though. Are we gonna open our little gifts? Come on, what are you doing? See what's happening. Why? Don't go to sleep. Open a present, please. What'd she get? Junior wizard starter set? But you're a toddler. I guess that's okay. We can put this in her bedroom when she ages up. That could be kind of cute. Well, I'm gonna make sure everybody gets a gift. I'm serious. Oh, <gasps> Santa. Oh my God. <laughs> Best day of my life. Okay, we'll make sure we get presents from him too. Lots of love, bear. What did baby get? Tray chic perfume set? Oh, she probably would like that. Can I ask for presents from Santa? I have problems with this a lot in big households. I feel like in The Sims, no, she's not gonna get one. Oh my God. Where'd he go? Okay, here he is. Sorry. <laughs> I was gonna say I've got problems in big households a lot where I feel like there isn't enough time to try and get a gift from him. I know it's it's like, a you know, it's just The Sims. So it's bound to be like that, but talk about sibling. No, I want a gift. Ask for present. Come on, give me something good. You can do it. Come on, come on, come on. Why do they always stand in here? I feel like I want to get better screenshots outside of this room, but they're always in this room. Imagine it's like coal or something or a pile of literal poop. That's happened. I've gotten given dog poop before. Pre-assembled model stunt plane. Oh, that's a fun present. I can ask him to join the household. Wait, look at that. 
<laughs> maybe not. You know, that doesn't seem like a very good idea. It's fun in theory, but maybe not the best plan. What are we getting? What are we getting? What are we getting? <laughs> Incendiator by Grill Mania. No, 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 no. The last thing I need is more things that can catch on fire. Are you serious? That's like a death sentence. Okay, yeah, I'm selling that. <laughs> no, thank you. I don't need that one. Can I teleport her downstairs? I'm sorry, but I really, really would like to get a gift from Santa. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And what I gotta do is get downstairs so I can get a Santa present. Please? Okay, good. I'm glad that worked. I probably could have aged her up too, to be honest. No? Give me a present. It didn't work. <gasps> you suck! He didn't give me one! Oh. <laughs> now I feel bad. And it's her birthday. And I'm not gonna age her up right now. She's probably gonna age up on her own in the middle of the night. Do I have time? I don't think I've got time to make a cake. It's too late at night. Everybody's going to bed. Yeah, I just failed her. Well, hopefully she can make it through the night. If everybody else can like, you know, sleep long enough to make her a cake, maybe she'll get one in the morning. Unfortunately for her, she will not be getting one right now. <laughs> Sorry. Makes me feel a little bit bad, but that seems to be the theme of today. Promoted to petty thief. I totally forgot about- Oh my god, I suck. I suck. I suck. I to literally forgot about Gary. I didn't- Oh my god. Do you want a present? <laughs> Here. Everybody else went to bed. Do you want a gift? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Congrats on getting promoted. That was so fun. I'm so proud of you. Did you get anything I can sell? Emblems of espionage. Ooh, do you want that in your room? That seems kind of fun. What else did we get? I mean, you got this bear, so I could put that in your room. We also got this tray chic perfume set that doesn't really fit anywhere in my bedroom. Um, <laughs> I've got a large amount of clutter already. Maybe I'll put it like, how about this? Let's put it in the office. I don't know. I just want a chance to use it. I have this model stunt plan. Too. We don't have anything on the kid's desk yet, so that could be kind of cute. What is it that baby wanted to do for her midlife crisis? What? Why are you napping? Why do Sims do that? You realize that you can sleep for real, right? He got one Chaz McFreely. Oh, isn't that one of those like little um, My Sims figures? Oh, that's kind of fun. We've got space. We could probably sit it over here. Oh, and he can sell all this too. Okay, well, I think baby wanted to buy three expensive paintings. Nothing below 1,000 simoleons will do. Whoa. <laughs> okay. We've got expensive taste, huh? We don't have anywhere to put these. I've covered like every inch of wall space in this house with family photos. Nothing below 1,000 will do. Okay, well, I could probably just buy them and then immediately sell them, huh? Those are both over 1,000. This one's 1,200. That's fun. Now she wants to get promoted. Okay, well, <laughs> too bad we don't work that much. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> we do have a gig today or an audition. We do have an audition today. Oh God, she needs a lot of fitness skill, doesn't she? Oh, look at that. We've got amazing compatibility ability with Santa. And we're social bunny friends? Oh, I totally forgot that I added him on social bunny. Huh. Well, that's kind of fun. I mean, it doesn't hurt to have a good relationship with Santa. I feel like that sets us up pretty well for success. You're like pretty much guaranteed to get some good gifts. <laughs> Oh no. <gasps> Rilith died? Oh my God. What do you think happened to her? Oh no. She got got by neighborhood stories? Oh my God. That's okay. For those that aren't familiar, Lilith is- No. What's that? Oh, someone else. Okay. I don't know him. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> neighborhood stories is getting everybody tonight. Okay. Lilith married our sister. <gasps> Lilith was milking it and got too close to a cow plant? Oh no. Oh Barb, I'm so sorry. <laughs> You've got two young kids. Oh, that makes me feel really bad. And on winter. Fest? I feel like I should have invited them over for a holiday. Like we could have spent the holiday together and we didn't. Why does this always happen to me? <laughs> Not the cow plant. That's cursed. Dory, here. Do you want to like play with some of your toys for a sec? Because your mom's awake. She could come bake you a cake and we could- Oh, I forgot to put the forky away. Sorry. That's a waste of food. Okay. Um, I would like to make a cake. Unless I already made the- Did I make a cake last time and then put it in the fridge with candles? Oh, no. No. They they ate it. Okay. Yeah, we have a lot of food. It's okay. It's not really a waste. We're fine. Don't worry. Never mind. <laughs> Sometimes I don't have enough in the fridge and it's like I'm constantly trying to keep up with cooking, but it seems like we're okay. Well, this sucks. We'll have to go get Lilith's grave today. <laughs> I'm gonna make baby do a bunch of like working out and stuff because she needs what level five fitness or level three? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. You gotta get a move on. We have until 7 p.m. I don't think we'll do it, but we can try. Please don't catch fire. Please don't catch fire. Please don't catch fire. Please don't catch fire. Please. Okay. <laughs> it's a reasonable fear, okay? After what we've been through, I'm justified in that fear. All right, I will add some birthday candles to this little cake. Oh, you smell like really bad. That's okay. We'll deal with 
that once you get older. <laughs> once you age up, we can worry about that. Do you have work? No, okay, good. I'm gonna try and bring Dory downstairs. I wonder what trait she'll get. We always randomize the traits in this legacy challenge. So, I mean, anything is possible. <laughs> no, 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 you can't. No, you can't watch the birthday. I'm sorry. You have to work out again. <laughs> I feel bad, but unfortunately for you, we got a lot of stuff to worry about here. Help blow out candles, Dory. Well, this isn't gonna make for a very fun screenshot. This is actually gonna <laughs> suck. <laughs> <laughs> she smells. Well, never mind. I just won't take one. Baby is fitness level four. That's all right. Okay, Dory aged up. We randomized the traits. So three, two, one, randomized. Hot headed. Oh my God. Okay. You know what? That's fine. I love a good bad trait in this game. And maybe we could try one of the new aspirations. Like I actually really enjoy the creative genius one. I don't know what Dory's gonna do when she's older. This could be kind of fun. Oh, you can be actually, honestly, baby, you can be active. <laughs> That's really helpful to me personally personally right now as I'm trying to get you to build this skill faster. Barb sent Dory a gift. Barb, I'm so sorry. Okay, speaking of Dory, let's go into cast and redo her outfits. Oh my gosh, she's really pretty. Should we randomize her some likes and dislikes just to give us a starting point? Okay, she hates pink. <laughs> Well, that's unfortunate, uh, given the house that you live in. We like backyard music, high energy Sims. Oh, so she gets along well with Sims that have the active trait. That's good. We like discussing hobbies and we enjoy bowling. Okay, we can take up bowling. We can be in some bowling hobbies. I'm down for that. Are we like channeling Nemo vibes with this? Am I gonna make her wear like blue and yellow? Is that what's gonna happen right now? <laughs> she did have the growing together hair as a toddler. We could probably use it again with her as a child. I am obsessed with this outfit. I'm serious. I love this. <laughs> I think it's so cute. I think she can wear this. Oh, look how adorable that is. Oh, wait a minute. I love this hair. Should we use this one? Oh, she can wear some of the new bracelets and stuff too. Growing together has so many cute things. Oh, her and her brother could have matching friendship bracelets. I would really like that. I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, I gave her some nail polish. I think this will be her everyday outfit. Here's her formal wear. Okay, she hates pink, so <laughs> we can't wear these shorts. Maybe we could wear some blue ones. I hate to say it, but her hating pink is like kind of inconvenient. <laughs> It is funny though how she would like maybe rebel against her family a little bit. It is kind of funny and like maybe a little bit realistic though that after like growing up in this nightmarishly pink house, she might decide that she hates pink. I gave her this party wear because I kind of liked the blue and yellow vibes. Again, channeling Dory from Finding Nemo. And look, she had this swimwear on already. I kind of like this. How do we feel about this for hot weather? Because I think it's kind of cute. We can always give her the bracelet again. It is currently winter time, so we probably need more cold weather stuff, to be honest. What do you think about this? Okay, I can admit that it's maybe a little bit too much, but she's a kid. Kids wear like silly things that don't perfectly match all the time. I like it. I'm keeping it. Okay, I think her outfits are ready. I hate this stupid bug. Items removed. No, not true. Okay, no, 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 no. Go back. You have to keep working out. I'm sorry. I don't care how miserable you are. <laughs> you gotta keep working out. I'm sorry. It's just we have to get the skill all the way up. There's no way she's gonna get it. Look at how low this is. Wait, why are you here? Are you not at school? Do you not have school? Did you come home from school early? What the heck? Okay, well, for this aspiration, the creative genius one, we need to play pretend at a treehouse and achieve level three of the creativity skill. I also need to redo the bedrooms. Maybe I'll do that first. As it turns out, I don't think she likes her bedroom. <laughs> I don't think she's very happy with the uh, previous color scheme. I liked it. I thought it was cute. Oh, I like the sky one. That could be kind of fun. Uh, I think I might get rid of the ghost wallpaper though. <laughs> we had a good run with that ghost wallpaper, but it might be time for us to move on. Okay, we did have a couple things that we wanted to keep. Oh, and I can put this stuff back. Hold on. This plant belongs in this corner. I think I sized down this table before. Annoyingly, that means my plant floats. So let me just replace that one. All right, and then we've got like 7,000 simoleons to try and redo this. Do you know what? I might actually get the better wizard starter kit. <laughs> this one's just cuter, okay? I wanna use this one instead. So I got a dresser, we have the bed here. She's gonna need to use the tree house a fair amount. So <laughs> that's good, I guess. We've got it in the backyard. She also needs, I think for this aspiration, she might need like an instrument. So maybe I'll give her one of these and then we could always get one of these little creativity tables, activity tables. 
tables. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I called it that. Oh, I can get rid of some of this toddler stuff as well. Does the treehouse fit in the like yard section? No, it's so big. The thing is like actually enormous. <laughs> I have this huge lot and I can't put it anywhere. Well, I only have this because Santa gave it to me, but I kind of like that. So I kind of want to keep it. We could probably give her this little toy box too. I think I'm okay with this table being in the middle of the room. When I was a kid, I had like a little table. It was like a little chalk table. And I had that in the middle of my bedroom as like a small child. I remember it used to have like a little box in the middle, kind of like these, but it had a lid. And I used to hide like snacks in there. <laughs> so I don't think that's that unreasonable. It was very small. This is from like my childhood bedroom in Chicago still. So I was like literally four. So my memory could be a little bit wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure that it was in the middle of the room. Oh, I kind of like the beach color of that. That's kind of cute. It matches like the color scheme in here. Okay, let's call it there with this room. I want to save a little bit of money too in case we get bills come in because <laughs> I don't know if we'll be able to afford them. All right, well, maybe I'll have the kids start making friendship bracelets because <laughs> I want to have them exchange them. Oh, this is broken. I'll fix that too. This thing, this radio breaks all the time. Reach creativity level seven. Oh, not bad. You should go make your friendship bracelet too. Yeah, these aspirations, the new ones for kids are really easy. <laughs> we have to like play pretend, get some creativity skill, stargaze, sleep in a tree house for six hours. That's so easy. Although the stargazing thing is a little, um, dare I say, a little bit dangerous. <laughs> Maybe I'll buy that now so I don't forget. If you use the telescope, your sims have a chance of getting struck by a meteor and literally dying, but it's, it's kind of rare. I doubt it would happen to us. And you also have a chance to like come back inside before it hits you. Like it does warn you. Oh, did you finish making that? Are we close enough friends to exchange these? I don't really know. <laughs> I've only ever had sims exchange them with their parents so far. I've not had any kids exchange them. Talk about sibling. Enthuse about candy. Wait, how about this? Let's take a photo together. That'll sneak it. That'll basically cheat the relationship up. That'll be good. Oh, and we can hang this picture up. That'll be cute. Silver just became good friends with Dory. Well, there you go. Oh, you can become partners in crime. Become best friends forever. Oh, that's so cute. Exchange friendship bracelets. Both household sims are required to have a friendship bracelet in their inventory. Dory doesn't have any friendship bracelets to trade. Oh, does mine suck? Oh, maybe I did it and like it turned out bad. I was wondering why it looked like that and I like couldn't do anything with it. Okay, so I should try again. Yeah, I was wondering why it wasn't working. I guess that makes sense. It's not really a friendship bracelet. <laughs> Oh, there we go. That one's good. No, that is not good. What's on fire? Oh my god. Uh, please don't. Please don't. Can you put that out, please? Extinguish yourself. I'm in kind of a chaotic mood right now. I'm gonna be honest. If that was somebody else and like not baby who is the heir, I probably would have let him die. <laughs> I don't know. It's been a while since somebody died tragically in this save. Oh wait, no. Lilith literally died today tragically in this save. Oh, I didn't get the skill I needed. Yeah, that's not helping with my desire for, for success, is it? Okay. Well, do you want to cook yourself a gourmet meal so you can work on your midlife crisis? I gotta brag 15 times too. It's gonna take me a while. Silver-like deception. Okay. Well, that's lovely. Do you want to go play pretend in the treehouse? What do you want to do? You need to stomp playfully on a splash pad, but I don't have one, so you want to do your homework instead. <laughs> oh, I still haven't exchanged these friendship bracelets. I'm so silly. Oh, look, they've got, oh, they're deeply connected. They have good compatibility. That's kind of cute. Uh-oh. Oh, baby has left for her audition. She is very sad. That's like so inconvenient. Okay, let's go find Lilith's grave and I'll bring it to the graveyard. I assume that her grave will just be like in the front yard over here. Oh, it's snowy. Oh, 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 their pet died too. Oh, well, that sucks. I can bring that grave. Oh, unless I can't. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I can't bring it home with me. Maybe I'll introduce myself to my niece then while I'm here. Okay, sorry, I'm taking your mother to the graveyard. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's just like right there. So we don't got to bring her very far. I feel bad. I, I know that I like leave this neighborhood story stuff on on purpose because it's kind of like exciting when this sort of thing happens. Well, it's not exciting for the Sims, but it's exciting for me <laughs> when stuff like this happens. But it still always like shocks me when it really does happen. Well, we got a vampire grave now. So that's kind of fun. Oh, wait, maybe I'll put her over here. This is where Vlad is. So I could put Lilith there with him. Oh, and I have this little cow plant cake topper. Oh, Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna use that. That sounds like fun. I know she like technically died because she got eaten by a cow plant, but that's okay. You know what? Honestly, it's unrealistic that she would have died to a cow plant. <gasps> Didn't they get married here? Oh my. You know what? There's something kind of romantic about her grave being right behind where she got married. Maybe I'll delete this. This feels a little bit insensitive right now to have this still here at the graveyard. <laughs> but I was going to say, 
as if she would get eaten by a cow plant. She's a vampire. She's not gonna fall for like a cake scam. Oh well, it's too late. She's gone. Oh, he's dancing. That's kind of cute. Well, they exchanged their friendship bracelets. Not that you can tell because they're both wearing long sleeves, but they switched them. Look how cute that is. What else do you want to do? You want to play pretend in the treehouse still? I would love to finish this aspiration because then we can get a bonus trait for when she goes up. I don't think baby is gonna get the audition. Oh, I did. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. I spoke too soon. Audition passed. This show is the hottest post-apocalyptic drama to come along this year. You are next week's star. Okay, well that's good, I guess. Yay me. Oh, I was gonna try and have that woohoo to get their uh, social needs up, but evidently I cannot. <laughs> so, reminisce about wedding day. That's cute. Did someone put away my gourmet meal or did somebody eat it? Because I made a gourmet meal for baby. I think they ate it. Oh, that's rude. Now I gotta make myself a new one. What's your problem? It's hideous from disliking the decor. <gasps> I, you know what? I don't like you. <laughs> that's rude. Okay, we need level three mental skill and to stargaze. Oh gosh, do you want to do that first? I don't think kids can get killed by a meteor, right? That would really ruin like all of my plans for this let's play. I'm just saying if that were to happen, that like completely destroys everything I wanted to do in this series. <laughs> I had this whole like crossover plan between my two saves right now. Like if that happened, that would really ruin the vibes. No, I think we're okay. And it is okay. Like if, if a meteor starts coming for me, like you, you can escape it. It is possible to escape. We'd have time. All right. I ate my gourmet meal. What do you want to do next? Reach max level in a career. Girlie, that's not gonna happen. I don't know who you think you are, but <laughs> it won't work. Okay, everyone back to bed. I think tomorrow I really like to work on Gary. I'd like to get him a partner. I've kind of been distracted by like my childhood today, but tomorrow, tomorrow it's teen time. Okay, you can go to sleep. Sorry, Gary. You've got it rough. Petty thief. <laughs> I didn't even do his mischief skill. All right, we'll work on it. We'll work on it. He can probably move out soon, but I feel like we've got space for him. There's no reason he needs to leave. This is so weird. It's raining just as hard in real life as it is in The Sims right now. <laughs> you can probably tell it's like so dark in my office compared to normal. Oh, it's Silver's birthday. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, that's kind of exciting. And it's Dory's first day of school, technically. Okay, so this is Gary's relationship panel. I know we had kind of been talking to that Catherine Sim. Should I try and invite her over? I guess it's a little bit early. Maybe once he wakes up, we can invite her over. Oh God, baby is miserable. <laughs> How can I make you less sad? I mean, it doesn't help that your family's dead, so that. I mean, that checks out. All right, well, Catherine's on her way. We're trying to cry this out because we've got a fear of unfulfilled dreams. You know, usually I'd cheat that away, but I, I do feel like I've not been fulfilling his dreams. So that's my bad. That is my fault. Oh, she's in my backyard. I was wondering where she went. <laughs> I was like checking for her in the front yard. No, she's just in my pool. Okay, maybe I can try and like be funny with her a little bit. Oh, this does not work. Can I take a selfie with you? I don't think they're getting along that well. I'm gonna try and cheat it. Oh, now I'm angry. Oh my God. Okay, well, this is the way. This is how you get a girlfriend. You take photos with them until the relationship bar is higher. Would you look at that? All of a sudden we're like best friends. Who would have thought? She's really pretty. I really like Catherine. Okay, I'm gonna try now and romance her. Maybe I can like, let's just flirt. Let's do something casual. She's uncomfortable. I guess it's because of the rain. You're the one who came out here though, so I don't know what to tell you. That was your idea. I'm very confident. Warm up with body heat. Oh my god. Is that like moving too fast? No, it's not. Ooh. Do you want to kiss her? They're gonna kiss in the rain. Oh, that's kind of cute. I like her. I feel like we've been trying to do this for a long time. So I know it might seem like we're moving fast technically in game. We're not really moving fast, are we? Because we've been working on this forever. Like since he was in high school. Oh my God. Do you want to woohoo in the treehouse? No, that's bad. I guess I'll do it anyway. That's actually messed up. <laughs> Congrats. Do you want to date now? Talk about marriage. My God. Okay, that's a little bit fast. I'm going to be honest. Ask to be girlfriend. Is that a no? Okay, I think that's a no. Ooh, Marina is hard at work in the studio when an arc of electricity appears and stretches into an oblong shape in the center of the room. As Marina shields her eyes, two men emerge from the anomaly. Both introduce themselves as Gregory Landgrab. The younger Gregory expresses his desire to commission a portrait of the elder Gregory and spouts some babble about this being the only point in the space-time continuum where the portrait could be created without disrupting the balance of continuity. Gregory indicates that Marina will be paid handsomely for her efforts. I'll paint it. I got money and fame. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, oh, my dog is pooping rainbows. Oh my. Um, here, I've got a vet treat. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't notice that you were doing that. There's a couple rainbow poops out there in the front yard. Well, that's okay. Hopefully you're fixed now. I mean, I guess if anybody's gonna poop rainbow, it'd probably be this household. So <laughs> if 
guess it makes sense. Although, I, I think that it's not a good thing when that happens to your dog. Okay, well, Gary's girlfriend left before she became my girlfriend, so that was kind of rude of her. <laughs> oh, our Uncle Bryce called and said, hey, I heard you became friends with Catherine. She's pretty cool. I like that. I know that the game isn't trying to be supportive in the way that I'm reading it as, but it does feel kind of cute to be like, oh, hey, I heard you're getting close with Catherine. She's really great. Like, it seems like a nice familial message to receive, even though it's, it's just like random Sims call you and say stuff like that. Can I brag to my stepson? Where do you, what's the bragging? Like what category is bragging under? I'm still not used to the new menus. Stress about lost time. That's not really bragging, but she also wants to win a competition or game. Do you think that if we played chess together, I could beat Gary? It feels possible. All right, well, they're both home from school. Do you want to go work on like making some experimental potions or something? That could be kind of fun. You want to stomp playfully on a splash pad. I mean, I can buy you a splash pad and like one of those lights that has the playful aura, but I think I might try and save that for next episode because I'm trying to make sure he doesn't age up automatically and it is his birthday. So maybe we can try and do that next time we play. We got birthdays all over the place today, apparently. But I hope that you enjoyed today's episode. I feel like this one was okay. I kind of judge these based on how bad stuff was and it seems like today was not that bad. Aside from Lilith, that was pretty bad. <laughs> that part sucked. But anyway, on that note, I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. Of course it was a cow plant. It's always a cow plant, you know? It makes me feel really bad. <laughs> all my cow plants in my front yard are dead and yet somehow they're getting my family still. <laughs>